The Navy commissioned two brand new Leonardo AW-159 Lynx Wildcat helicopters worth P5.4 billion. It will complement the two missile-capable frigates built in South Korea, set for delivery this year. Young Corvette may provision Yon Na Need NG anti-submarine warfare helicopter. So Sanam and Am and Sa Horizon 2, we will program that. Pagdating NG Corvette make Osama Din Na AW-159 every time that she goes on patrol Empadrid later told reporters after the event. The Corvette has a provision that it needs an anti-submarine warfare helicopter. So we included it in the Horizon 2, we will program that. When the Corvettes are here, it will be complemented by AW-159 every time she goes on patrol. The Navy chief admitted that it will take time to be able to procure that. The Philippine government earlier announced that it will order two brand new Corvettes from South Korea worth P-28 billion. Empadrid said he was hoping that the construction of the Corvettes would begin this year. So far, there is still no award notice for the project. But officials previously said that Hyundai Heavy Industries, the same shipbuilder for the two missile-capable frigates, would likely bag the contract. Sikorsky will formally propose its S-70I armed Black Hawk for a Philippine Air Force attack helicopter requirement. The proposal for six helicopters would build on Manila's order for 16 S-70 is in a combat utility configuration, says John Rudy, regional executive at Sikorsky, a unit of Lockheed Martin. The 16S70 is are being produced at the company's PZL Milek unit in Poland. Deliveries for the order, which Sikorsky sealed in early 2019, will commence in the fourth quarter of this year and will be completed in 2021. We believe that armed Black Hawk is compelling for the Philippines Air Force in that it is going to have 100% baseline commonality with their combat utility helicopters, says Rudy. So you can imagine the economies that are associated with support, training and logistics. As with Manila's baseline S-70 is, also designated as U-60s, the armed Black Hawks would be produced at PZL Milek. If necessary, the armed version can be reconfigured for other missions, such as transport and humanitarian relief. The company has already mooted the proposal with Manila. Should the armed Black Hawk be selected, Rudy says the first example could be delivered in June 2022, with the balance in 2023. Joe Palumbo, U-60 program director at Sikorsky, adds that the helmet-based targeting system available for armed Black Hawk offers pilots the ability to engage targets precisely. Manila's dearth of precision strike capabilities was highlighted during its five-month battle against Islamic militants in the town of Marawi in 2017. A lack of precision munitions slowed the army's campaign to retake the town, resulting in an extended campaign and significant collateral damage. Sikorsky will offer the armed Black Hawk on a direct commercial sales basis.
The other two U.S. helicopters in contention, the Bella 1Z Zulu and Boeing A64 Apache, are being offered under Washington's Foreign Military Sale FMS, mechanism. Rudy claims that the armed Black Hawk will be less costly to procure and operate than dedicated attack helicopters and be within Manila's budget. Media reports from the Philippines suggest the budget for the requirement is in the region of $250-265 million. In May, the U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency release indicated that the cost of 6 us 64 s and related equipment and services would be $1.5 billion, while 6 one zs would cost $450 million. Both FMS packages contained additional equipment, weapons, spares, support equipment, and other products and services. The A64E package placed a heavy emphasis on precision weapons. Manila has also flirted with the Turkish Aerospace T-129 attack. It is understood, however, that U.S. government export restrictions related to the type's U.S.-built LHTEC T-800 engines would complicate any T-129 by. The armed Black Hawk can carry the same combat load as an Apache, with up to 16 Lockheed Am-114 Hellfire air-to-surface missiles, 70mm rockets, guided or unguided, and forward-firing guns. Rudy says Sikorsky has also discussed the armed Black Hawk with several other governments in the Asia-Pacific region.